I'm Simon Mokdasi and this is my 1970 XY Falcon known as XY King. I can remember my father always mucking around with cars, especially Ford. GTs, XWs, XBs, XYs, all of them. He loved working on them. He's owned probably over 50 XY and XWs. I wasn't really into classy cars myself. When I first got my license, I was always into the European cars, mainly the BMWs. When I was uh, 18, I brought a 1998 M3, which I completely built from the ground and going up. Uh, that one was also painted candy apple red. It had white interior and 20 inch Lexani wheels. But at heart, I always knew that I had to build a Ford, especially the XY GT and that day came 10 years ago. This XY came from Murray Bridge, South Australia. I went there to pick up Another shell, when we got there, that shell had too much rust in it. On the phone, he told us the car's very good. It's got everything that any restorer would want. We ended up going there, the car was very bad. When we were driving out of this farm, there was a big tarp with leaves and tires over this, looked like a shell. My brother said to me, let's go to the paddock and have a look what's under, under that tarp. And I said, no, 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 let's go. He goes, no, no, go. So we, we went to the, the tarp, we took the tarp off and we saw the most beautiful XY barn find, no rust. The farm guy came running in the paddock and he said, that one's not for sale, not for sale. And uh, my brother took him to the side and I think he offered him, like he asked him what he wanted for the car and we ended up paying double or triple what the car was worth to him. But whatever he said to me, I would have paid for it because the base was beautiful. This was one in a million. I've always wanted to build a XY GT replica. I wanted to build one exactly like my dad's one. Uh, track red, uh, four speed top loader, 351, uh, and with the black interior. I spent the next two years with my father restoring the Ford Falcon into a GT replica. The finished product was perfect, thanks to my father. I was very proud that I've got an XY GT replica, but I didn't like the way it felt no power, the steering was no good, the exhaust, you can't even hear it. So I dropped a 408 stroker engine in a complete standard XY look. That lasted for about two, three weeks until I smashed up the top loader box. When we smashed the top loader box, I went to Fred from Protrans. Uh, we got a full top of the line C4 to match the, the 408 stroker motor that was in it. That lasted for about four weeks. Then the block, I split the block and then at that time, I just grew frustrated that I don't want the car to break down anymore. So originally, I was going to keep the whole XY GT look, but put big motor, big gearbox, put a cage in it, put some mini tubs and start drag racing it.
After we got the uh, fabrication work, the roll cage, the tubs, all the chassis work, engine work, all that, we stripped the car, we took the, the shell to Queen Street Customs to get a couple of touch-ups. I was going to keep the car track red, a drag look, but for some reason I thought about my first car, Candy Apple Red, and then I changed my mind and I said we agreed painting the car Candy Apple Red. And at that time, it was still supposed to be a drag car. But once the paint was on there, it looked that good. A lot of the engine parts, a lot of the suspension parts, a lot of items we had to send back to get chromed, polished or anodized. That's when I knew I had to do the interior to the next level. I went up to Elite Custom Interiors, had a meeting with Simon there, and I told him I wanted a full-blown interior, like the best of the best. From there, the whole build just snowballed and everything just fell into place. The engine was built by Sash from AN Racing. It's a 440 Windsor. It's got the dart block. It's got the billet Callies crank and rods. It's got the Aries custom pistons. It's got a CHI 260cc Pro Series heads. 1200 CFM blow through carburetor. It's F2 Pro Charged, was intercooled, but now it's running water meth injection and it's got a custom AN Racing uh, solid roller camshaft. The transmission is a two-speed Reed Racing Pro Glide. It's full manual. It's got all the billet internals. It's got a trans brake. Uh, the converter is a Cone Racing 5000 stall. Four inch aluminium custom tail shaft. It's got a braced nine inch diff. It's got a Mark Williams center. 40 spline villa axles and the diff gears are 3.5. The wheels are 20 by 7s on the front, the rears are 22 by 12 and a half. It's got an 8.5 inch dish on the rear. The front brakes are 360 millimetres with 8 piston. The rear has got 360 millimetre with a 6 piston calipers. The front suspension has McDonald Brothers racing upper and lower arms. It's got the XYZ core overs. The rear suspension contains the GT leaf springs. It's got the cow tracks and it's got strange adjustable core overs. All the fabrication work was done by Con from Pro Street Metalcraft. He took care of the six point roll cage, mini tubs, new diff housing, front and rear engine plates, radiator support panel. He stretched the rear quarters for me and also raised the tunnel. The paint and body was done by Queen Street Customs. They spent numerous hours getting the body into good shape. The paint is House of Colour Candy Apple Red. It's got a custom base. Simon from Elite Custom Interiors is the only trimmer that understood what I wanted. He spent over 800 hours from fabrication to trimming. I used four different machinists to machine up all my billet parts, the column, all the dash knobs, the shifters, the handbrake cable, the pedals, every bit in the interior, it's all been hand billet made and the end result is perfect. The car was unveiled at Summonats 30 this year. We completed the car 11 o'clock the day before the unveil. Without my brothers and my father, I wouldn't have got the car completed. I didn't even expect to take home a trophy because originally I didn't build the car to win trophies. So I was stoked to walk away with uh, Maguire's People's Choice, first top interior, third special effects paint and I got a second top sedan. I couldn't have asked for a better unveil. I just want to thank my brothers and my father and Mokdasi group for all their long hours and all the support that they've given me in the past seven years. This car was on the front cover of Street Machine. It made me feel proud to see my car on the front cover. It was also nominated Top 16 Finalist uh, Street Machine of the Year. That's also another award that I would like to win. My plans are to show the car to the end of the year, take it back to Summonats, have one more crack at it. After Summonats, bring the car back, set the car up for the street, start driving it and enjoying it.
people call the car a trailer queen. Of course, it's a trailer queen at the moment because it's a show car. But once, once I finish the show car scene, I'll probably set the car up for the street, drive it on the street, and who knows, maybe in three or six months' time, I'll probably put some slicks on it, take it down the quarter mile, and see what I can get out of it.